Have you ever wondered what the largest flying animal in North America was? In the heart of Texas back in 1971, a geology graduate student named Douglas Lawson stumbled upon an astonishing discovery. Imagine his surprise when he unearthed the fossilized remains of a creature so enormous, it was unlike anything he had seen before. This was no ordinary find, but the remnants of what we now know as Quetzalcoatlus, a giant that once commanded the skies. The sheer size of this prehistoric beast was enough to send shockwaves through the scientific community, sparking fascination and intrigue that still felt today. And that's how we first met Quetzalcoatlus, the titan of the sky. So, just how big was the Quetzalcoatlus? Now let's put things into perspective. Imagine a giraffe. Tall, right? Well, Quetzalcoatlus was just as tall. Quite mind-boggling, isn't it? Now imagine a small airplane. You've seen one, right? The wingspan of Quetzalcoatlus was as wide as that airplane. It's hard to believe, but it's true. This magnificent creature, with its staggering height and wingspan, was the largest known flying animal of all time. It dwarfed even the biggest birds today, making them seem tiny in comparison. In the grand tapestry of life, with its myriad forms and sizes, the Quetzalcoatlus was a unique thread. In terms of size, Quetzalcoatlus truly stood alone in the animal kingdom. With such a large size, what did Quetzalcoatlus eat? Imagine a giant bird-like creature swooping down to snatch small animals and fish from the ground or the water's surface. Quetzalcoatlus had a long neck and a razor-sharp beak perfect for catching and consuming its prey. It's fascinating to think about how this colossal creature used its size and attributes to its advantage, hunting and feeding. Quetzalcoatlus was a true predator, using its size to dominate the food chain. Now, how did such a huge creature fly, you might ask? Well, scientists have a few theories. Some believe the Quetzalcoatlus used thermal currents, much like modern birds of prey, to glide effortlessly across the sky. Others think it may have used its powerful hind legs to launch itself into the air, sort of like a prehistoric airplane taking off. No matter how it achieved flight, one thing is certain. In the air, Quetzalcoatlus was a sight to behold, a true wonder of nature. Let's recap what we've learned about Quetzalcoatlus. This colossal creature was unearthed in Texas, astonishing the world with its staggering size. It was as tall as a giraffe with a wingspan greater than a small airplane. Its diet consisted primarily of small animals feeding on the ground rather than in the air. Despite its size, Quetzalcoatlus soared through the skies with grace and ease. So there you have it Quetzalcoatlus, the largest flying animal to ever exist in North America. Subscribe to Kids Math TV for more fun and educational videos.